So throughout the entire month of October, we've been asking you, hey, submit your favorite fall photos on our Facebook page. And each Friday, we rend randomly pick one uh, for a $1,000 gas gift card. And of course, those photos are beautiful. So fall beautiful. Colors. We've been receiving so many gorgeous photos. Some examples of some photos that we have received that have been submitted by our viewers are right here. Look at oh, this one. Oh, simple and yet makes a wonderful point. Patricia writes from Winchester, Virginia, walking on a trail near their local hospital. That's gorgeous. I know you. Yeah. Isn't that so cute? That's from Jessica oh. Bowlby from Circleville, Ohio, and she's, it was taken at their local pumpkin patch. It's her Fresh. two boys. Isn't that the cutest so ever? Cute. Michelle McGinnis from Hopkins, Michigan, taken off oh. an old country road, far, uh, a farm road. Look at that. That's yeah. so beautiful. beautiful. And then Sherry Sansudi oh, like Sabatino white. from Wilmington, Delaware. She says it's her favorite time of year. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? And wow. the Carrie Green Marigot from Raritan, oh. New Jersey, taken oh by goodness. her 12 year old daughter. Wow. wow. Congratulations. 12 years old. You, you have, have a future an, photographer have on your hands. Uh, we have an Anzalise Adams. Anzalise, Anzalise Adams, Adams, correct. In our future. Yeah, so there you we go. also have uh, Paige Hemis in our very near future. Yay. You know, Halloween is soon approaching, and it's time to get started by getting your home ready and making a very ghoulish fun uh, exhibit and flying off the shelves this year. Standing behind us is a skeleton horse, which we incorporated into our lawn design, which was all pulled together by Paige Hemis, but designed by Dave Lowe. Take a look at the overview of what our yard is going to look like. Um, this is all from the mind of Dave Low, our amazing art director. Is our house going to be purple? Prop master. <laughs> oh my God. Well, when it's lit up. Hey, when it's lit up. And that's what we're doing today. And we're doing this today. Circle. This is the horse. That is beautiful. So, Paige, why is the standing horse? Why is Kim's head <laughs> stuck in the horse's mouth? <laughs> I right. just wanted to show that. I would like to say straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, no. oh. Very nice. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I, oh, I oh. did need to come back. I, okay. why, why has this been so popular this season, Paige? This is, is a trend to have these kind of skeleton animals. And you can see behind me, I've got a little bird and I've got a little rat there. Mm. Oh, these skeletons, they're so creepy so and they're so fun. The this was actually... Uh, sold by Home Depot. No. So you go wow. in there thinking you're getting stuff really? done for the house and you can walk away with this horse. Oh, I think yeah. we're sold out now. I mean, how do you but get it home is my yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> it comes ride with it. it. Yeah. Oh, ride it home. You have to ride it home. Yes, oh. but I thought how fun to take something that you can find in a hardware store and then add your own yeah. little creativity oh, yeah. to make it something more grand. And that's so. exactly what we did with the haunted horse cart you see here. Wonderful. Cute. I'm glad you did this because if Kim would have done it, it would have been the it, horse and it, the carriage in front of the horse. Exactly. It would have been. You got busy yeah. earlier today. Take yes, a look. I got started earlier today. And this is a four inch round Sorry. plywood that's three quarter inch wide or thick. What I did there is just take a circular saw and cut off the bottom two inches. That'll kind of disappear when you put it on the lawn. Then I took three one by 12s and cut them to six foot lengths, or you can have your hardware store do it for you. And these are two by twos that I cut in 36 inch lengths to get them all together. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, you're trying to recreate something that's haunted and scary from years gone by. Now these are two stakes that you can actually buy, not S-T-E-A-K, S-T-E-K-E. <laughs> yes, so those two spikes serve as the handles. Now what you're seeing here is just in the cheap department of your hardware store are angle brackets. These are eight inch angle brackets. I put them on the, the four foot round, screwed them in with just regular screws. That's both of it. We're looking at upside down. And then to make it look really old and creepy, I took a jigsaw and just cut out little pieces and then took part of that two inch steak and cut it into little pieces. That's only 24 inch pieces. Put them down below. I kind of cut them at a lean. So that becomes the structure when you turn it over. I'm acting as the horse there in that, in <laughs> nice. that scene, yes. Nice. It was the workhorse. So, the workhorse. So what you guys saw when we came out of that is something that was just plain. And now let me show you what I did here. Sorry, it's Scott. Right. So this was just plain. We added some lathe, just a one inch lathe, and these little wooden buttons. Then this is a 12 inch round and the skull that I actually used last year in the crypt that's right behind you guys. And then I just took watered down paint. Uh -huh. It helped because it was raining actually this morning while yeah. we did it. Yeah. And check this out. This is a marker. And if you go in close, 
Look at that. You can make it look like it's separate pieces That's only so cool. with a paint pen or a Sharpie. Wow. See how easy that is? And look at it's how It's like an old cool barrel. Yeah. That, That's so neat. That's so cool. And it makes it look old and creepy. And see what I said, that it would disappear. That two inches that you cut off the bottom just gives it stability. Yeah. 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 I don't ex expect you guys to ride this Actually, around. Oh, it's, it's unfortunate. Just gonna we stay. thought we were really? going to ride it. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. It's just going to stay Now, there. what about this over here, this okay. tower of pumpkins? This so. is where creativity comes in. And I filled it with real pumpkins um, down below. Those are actual real pumpkins. And then these, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to scooch on here. Yeah. One of my favorite tools in the, the crafting gun. department yeah, is, that is the glue gun. It is loaded. So and all I did, ready. all of these are fake pumpkins. And I'm just going to add, you just need to add a little glue. And it doesn't even have to be a lot Maybe because these things stick very well. Either. That's right. Yes, they don't go, don't go bad. They don't no. rot. So we're just going to put that in. There. I'm pretty sure a crow just flew by. That's I, that the bird of death. Yeah, you're not kidding. Oh, great. Yes. That's nice. Okay, so That's you guys can take this That's as the bird big of death. as Thank you would you. like. What do you think? Is, okay. it, is it sturdy? It, it'll stay there. It'll stay there. Yeah. Scott, yeah. can you grab this death. end of it? Absolutely. Scott, I'm nervous. Are you serious? Lift from the knees. Lift from the knees. Wait, what's that? That's beautiful. No, I'm very strong. The jack o' lantern. Go ahead, help her. You're a jack o' lantern of all trades. Oh, oh, very nice. Nice. Scott. Okay, right uh -oh. there. Let's see. Oh, Can we balance no it? No way. What? And there you go. Nice. And then just take some look hay. At... Hey. Um, that looks and just put amazing. it kind of Come over here and look at it from piece. afar. You guys, come over here. So come over this way. Cute. Come over. You got to step back wanna, and so admire your shot. work. This is beautiful. Admire um, your work. Step back and admire the work here. Look at there. So That's impressive.